Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is Tan here with you. Well, in today's vlog, I'm going to attempt reviving this dead Bluetooth headset from Nokia. So, stay tuned. So this is the Nokia BH900 Bluetooth headset. It was purchased around 2008. So it's a 14 year old headset. Now the battery inside this is dead. I'll show you how I know it. Now I'm going to connect it to the charger. As soon as I connect it to the charger, it's showing power on. But as soon as I remove it from the charger, it dies. So that means that the battery is dead. Now another issue I had with this headset was I did not know if it will work with any other phone apart from Nokia phones. So I had to connect it to the iPhone that I had. Uh, luckily it did connect to my iPhone's Bluetooth. But since the battery is dead, the only way I can use this headset is if I connect it to the charger and had it on my ear, which is obviously pretty dangerous. It could explode anytime since the battery is weak. So obviously I thought of replacing the battery and now the second question is where can I get a battery? Where can I find a battery for such a very old uh, headset? Luckily the battery for this headset was available on a website called electronicscom.com. I'll leave the links in the description below so that you guys can check the website out and buy batteries that you need for your equipments. So I'll show you how the battery looks like. So this is a 3.7 volt 180 mAh battery. Now how I ordered this battery is uh, very simple. I actually had to open this uh, Bluetooth headset. I opened it and I took the battery out from here. I measured this battery's uh, length, width and height. And based on that, uh, I had to buy something similar to the same dimensions as the battery inside this. Or I'll have to buy a dimension smaller than this so that this battery would fit inside this headset. So there's a tiny hex screw here right here which you'll need to unscrew so once you unscrew it this is the old battery as you can see it's it's a bit uh, bulged up which means the battery is bad So how I uh, measured the dimensions of this battery was I just took a small scale and I measured the length, width, the length, width and height and based on that I ordered this new battery. The new battery is much smaller than the old battery so obviously it will fit easily inside the headset. Also on the website uh, they have the dimensions of the batteries clearly mentioned in the description so please do check that out before you purchase the battery. So now next step would be to desolder these two points and remove this old battery and then solder the new battery onto this terminal here. Okay, so let's do that.
So I soldered the battery connections to the terminal. And the space was a bit tight, so it was a bit difficult. Now the final step is to reassemble the headset. So let's do that. So I finished reassembling the headset. Uh, now it's time to connect the charger to it and see if it's charging properly or not. Yes, and you can see the red indicator. So it means that the headset is charging properly. So I also connected the headset to my iPhone successfully and the headset is working flawlessly well. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and if you did please do hit the thumbs up button do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and until next time this time signing out bye bye